Good afternoon. Welcome to episode 958, I think. I'm trying to keep track here. <laughs> I put in the title, so you check it there if you want to be sure. If you're keeping track of my uh, broadcast count or episode count. Um, today we're going to talk about two things. Um, because Valentine's Day is the next big event for Hallmark, as in the next abundance of decorations and cards and stuff, basically a month away. And I recently heard about this new dating term called paper clipping. Yeah, this is going to be an interesting one too. And you may have discovered you've been this one recipient of this, and maybe even been a protagonist of this too. I must admit, I think I've done both, just to be transparent in, in my expression. So first of all, um, welcome to my broadcast. Hi, my name is Barry. You can probably tell all that stuff. I'll tell you about the information about where you find more about me and the replays at the back end of the broadcast. So rather than just waste any time, let me just jump right in and start talking about this. So first of all, Valentine's Day is the next next occasion the Hallmark rolls out the decorations for. You know, there's like there's only about five or six things that they come out for me. It's, it, apart from the regular birthdays and anniversaries, it's you know um, Valentine's Day, Independence Day, Thanksgiving, Christmas, Hanukkah, Thanksgiving, um, New Year's, and that's about it really. There's one well, there's one or two special events they have as well if they want to include Kwanzaa or something else. But usually that's pretty much it. So. For some reason, Valentine's Day rates as high with Hallmark <laughs> as pretty much any other event during the year. Which is, I'll talk another day about the origins of Valentine's Day because it doesn't actually mean what you think it means. <laughs> but what we'll speak more about is this new term called paper clipping because that's a new one I heard recently or read recently, and it's like that's an interesting one. Um, and I have to have you cast your mind back a few years when Windows and Microsoft brought out Clippy. From a clippy from the Microsoft Word back in the what would that be Windows 98 days? It's going to be like 20 years ago. Clippy was this animated, very annoying paperclip with eyes that would occasionally remind you of stuff or check in on you or verify you were doing things okay. It was Microsoft's attempt at a automatic agent of help type thing. That's I think where the origin came from, because that's what they're talking about when it comes to the paper, people who paperclip you now. I'm giving me context to being Valentine's Day for a very specific reason. I'll tell you about that in a moment. So paper clipping in the dating arena, from what I've read, and this is another one of these new terms. I've talked about other ones about submarining, uh, ping ponging, ghosting, of course, and a bunch of other ones. But this is a new one, which is paper clipping. And what paper clipping basically means is that somebody just somebody dated maybe six months ago, just shows up out of the blue, as if nothing ever happened in between. Like you may have just like given up the ghost thinking they're done, but they show up again like nothing's happened, and they come out of the blue. It's actually similar to another dating term that I remember as well, but this is a different version. And basically what it means is the paper clipping is being treated like um, you put on the shelf in a way, that you put on postponing. Oh, this is very similar to another one called house planting. <laughs> There's some strange terms in the dating ring, let me just say. I talked about house planting last year. I managed to go dig the one out, that was kind of funny. But this one about paper clipping is one where basically that person is annoying, randomly persistent, and showing up for their convenience. And that's why we're talking about Valentine's Day because you might discover a lot of people you dated over the last year may start showing up out of the blue between now and Thanksgiving. Excuse me, Thanksgiving. Between now and, and Valentine's Day in a month. Because they don't want to be alone on Valentine's Day and they remember you were fun to be with, perhaps. However, I highly recommend you look at that clearly before you jump ready and go, oh, that's fun, let's do that. Because the thing is, if that person is really just there because they don't want to be alone on Valentine's Day, that means two days after Valentine's Day, they'll be gone again, more than likely. Not the ideal way to date. So, now, let me sidebar this one because I can flip the script as well because have you done that to somebody else? Because most of us have, I think. It's actually a, a human experience where we basically decide this isn't working and we don't always communicate clearly that we're complete and we disappear and then we go later on, hmm, maybe I should go back and check it out again. Because that's the positive version in if there is such a thing, and what paper clipping is from the other side is maybe you left abruptly and didn't realize you maybe maybe you passed up something really good. But the true term of paper clipping is much more casual and much less respectful than that. So if you're in the boat where maybe you did have a nice relationship or a nice series of dates with somebody a few months ago and you want to go back to them, be clear why you're doing it. Are you coming from the place where you realize that person was way better than you thought they were or maybe you had a falling out or an argument and they remind you of some past relationship that you went, oh, hang on a second, I'd go heal. And you come back to them and just want to start things over again 
to not much continue from where you, left, where you left off, but go deeper than you went before. That's not paper clipping. That's actually saving grace in a way. Not that's a term, I'm just throwing things out there. But the thing is, paper clipping is much less invested and much more casual. Excuse me, I, I have a bit of a head cold that hit me last night, so I may be sniffling a bit whilst I'm talking, so bear with me. I just want to keep this short because I don't want to sneeze all over the camera. You do want to see that. <laughs> so paper clipping is much more casual. And in fact, it's more, I was going to say desperation based, where somebody is so wanting to hook up for that Valentine's Day, perhaps for a Valentine's event, they don't want to go solo, that they'll basically reach out to people they dated last year, who they have no intention of being in a relationship with, just to say, hi, nice to see you, it's been a long time, you want to get together, perhaps for Valentine's Day, that sort of approach, that's paper clipping. And it is not about you, it's about them. So. I highly recommend if somebody does that to you, you go, see ya, not interested. Because the thing is that paper clipping is another one of these terms about dating, which is derogatory. Same as ghosting, same as submarining, same as rebounding, same as houseplanting. All these terms that are out in the urban, I was in the urban dictionary, but certainly it's in the urban vernacular for dating, are terms that classify certain types of behavior, none of which is good. So my encouragement to you is to hold out for what you really want. My invitation to you, in fact, is to not settle. Even though Valentine's Day is a month away, which is Hallmark's propaganda to make you sure you think that you're missing out if you don't have a relationship, I'm not going to get that militant yet. <laughs> I might save it for closer to Valentine's Day. But realize that things are going to be showing up in your life. They're going to be spun towards that um, Cupid approach. So someone may appro approach you. Hi, Stacey. Thanks for being here again. Um, it might be tempting to think that if you just find somebody who you met a while ago to get together is definitely something that doesn't work. So hold out for what you really want. I, I actually have a recommendation in a moment. I'll give you the link. You can check this out. But the thing about dating is it's ideally, ideally, is an expression of connection that's not based on a certain calendar event. So you don't date somebody because it's Christmas or Thanksgiving or Valentine's Day. You date someone when it's the right time, not your calendar speaking, just to be clear. So that's why I think, that's why I believe things like paper clipping is such a um, manipulative skill. Not only a skill, it's a manipulative approach because skills are much better than that. <laughs> so I recommend that you look at that from a cleaner place. And if you're a woman who's been basically um, I will say this. Been through the. I'm trying to know what I was saying. I want to say another way, and it wasn't coming through the right way. Hang on a second. If you're a woman who's single, who's had some pretty bad dates, I'm going to get as clean as, as simple as that. I do highly encourage you. Exactly. Yes. Thank you, Stacey. You're on the same page. Yeah. Valentine's Day is a consumer holiday, and it is a hallmark moneymaker. That's what it's about. Because St. Valentine is a whole different thing. It can be good. Yes, Stacey, indeed, it can be good. Um, because this is something that I talk about a lot if you really find the right connection and if you're already in an established relationship yes, celebrating as a special bonus on the 14th of February is a nice thing to do although I wouldn't just do it once, month, once, month, one day a year I'd do it once a month at least or once a week at least to celebrate your relationship so anyway, that's another path I'm not going to go down tonight because I want to keep this short so I don't sneeze all over the camera because I can feel it building <laughs> excuse me so Ladies, if you've been through too many bad dates and you want something better than that, and you want a real relationship, I have a program I've been running for a long time now that I'm going to put in the link in the comments because I haven't talked about it for a while. And it's called simply Attract the Man You Want because that's what it does. If you want help to get the right sort of partner in relationship, I invite you to check it out. Um, get started now before Valentine's Day so you have a better clarity of what you want, a better vision, a better intention. So when somebody shows up, they do or don't fit that and you know clearly which it is. So that's what I recommend highly. Um, so don't be somebody's paperclip. <laughs> or don't have somebody paperclip you, depending on what is that term. That sneeze is trying to come through. Let me finish this up quickly. All right. So I'm keeping this short because this is a um, mid head cold Facebook Live, and I'll keep it somewhat abbreviated. Oh, it's going to try. All right, let me finish it off. <laughs> it's like this thing about being being on edge trying to do the Facebook Live without sneezing. So if you haven't seen Bright Broadcast before, again, the link will be in the comments. I'll put a couple of links in the comments. That and my new course that's coming up called uh, called BFF, because that may help you as well. Um, 
if you haven't seen the broadcast before, I do this every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time right here on my personal page on Facebook, seven days a week, which is Barry Selby on Facebook. You can join me every day. Um, the replays I put on my business page on Facebook and on my YouTube channel because it's easy to find them there. YouTube channel, excuse me, Facebook backup is on my business page, which is Barry Selby, the author. So please, want, please like my page and you can find them all there. Which leave, you'll see a couple of hundred there because that's what Facebook shows, but the rest of them you can find on my YouTube channel. So you go to youtube.com slash user slash Barry Selby, you can find on there, um, a, well, please subscribe to it, please. And on there you can find a playlist called Messages for the Masculine. So I invite you to go check that out. You can scan through the titles, find ones that speak to you. Maybe this one will too. And uh, that's about it. Again, links will be in the comments for you to check out afterwards. I appreciate you to invite you to do that. So again, my, my um, attract the man you want, which is barryselby.com forward slash ATM, is attract the man. And also my BFF Masterclass, which is coming up because it's getting started soon. I would love to have you in it if you're interested in doing it, which is barryselby.com forward slash BFF. So those two links will be in the comments. With that, thank you for watching. I appreciate you being with me, and I made it through without sneezing. I'm very happy about that. Hopefully tomorrow my head will be a bit clearer, and we can go forward with another topic on the same theme, perhaps or something different. Um, as always, I appreciate you being with me. If you have any questions about this topic, please put them in the comments below. If you want to share it with anybody, please do that too. And um, that's about it. As always, please take care of yourself. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.